Hello, this video is about cluster computing. I am Remya Rose working as an assistant professor in RMD Engineering College. So to see of cluster computing, this video I will be talking about the definition of cluster computing, the components of cluster computing, the types of cluster computing, the applicational areas where cluster computing is mainly used and some benefits of cluster computing and few challenges faced by cluster computing. So to say of cluster computing, cluster computing is one form of computing where uh, different independent machines are connected together and that act as one single entity. So to diagrammatically represent, it could be represented this way where uh, different independent machines are connected together over some internet and uh, they act as one entity and, the, and it works like a single entity. And the main motto of uh, cluster computing is to achieve parallel processing of multiple machines. So since we are having different machines connected and when we get into one task, this task will be splitted and the processing of this task is being assigned to different independent machines and they are processed in different independent machines. So for say for example, the task is uh, some high computational task, it is not processed or it is not com uh, you know, computed in one single machine, but it is being splitted and assigned to different no uh, different nodes or different independent machines and these different independent machines process the high computational task. And uh, to say about the components of cluster computing, we have got three main components of cluster computing. One is the memory, network and other one is the processor. To say of memory, since every independent machine is being interconnected to form one single entity, the memory of these independent machines is again combined together and it serves as one single memory. And next most important uh, component of cluster computing is network. Since we have different number of independent machines connected together, the connectivity has to be proper. So to say it simple, it could be said this way, better the connectivity, better the performance of the cluster will be. And next one is the processor. Since one high computational task has been uh, splitted and the processing has been assigned to different machines, the processor of different machines should work efficiently and the output of each and every node has to be efficient. And uh, next one is uh, the types of uh, cluster. We have got three major types of cluster. One is high availability cluster. Next one is load balancing cluster and other one is high performance cluster. So when I want to say of high availability cluster, consider uh, example of a railway reservation site. In some site, when the number of users accessing the site gets increased, the server uh, gets down and uh, the site uh, gets blocked. So to avoid such situation, we go for high availability cluster where the site will be available for all the users who tries to access it anytime. And next one is load balancing cluster. Consider some business area where their uh, working computation is high but, uh, but they work on some budget. So in that case, they tries to you know uh, compute the high computation task into the minimal nodes or into the available nodes just without expanding the size of the cluster, that type of cluster you call it as load balancing cluster. And the other one is high performance cluster. Normally high performance cluster is uh, used in simulational areas and forecasting where every single independent node has to work efficiently so that the entire entity work perfectly for a efficient output. And uh, next one is the applicational areas where uh, cluster computing is mainly used. First one is search engine, next one is uh, forecasting and the other one is simulation. So search, search engine everybody knows of it and the other one is simulation. Whatever be the simulation, be it uh, a space simulation or be it uh, earthquake simulation, instead of simulating it into one supercomputer, they normally simulate it with cluster, cluster computer where uh, instead of buying one supercomputer, we organize some set of independent nodes to work uh, together as one single entity and we try to simulate the earthquake or the uh, forecasting. And next one is forecasting. For a weather forecast, uh, they normally use cluster computing where different machines are located at uh, remote areas. All these machines are interconnected. They work in, uh, together for uh, forecasting weather. And next one is the benefits of cluster computing. We have got three major uh, benefits. One is the processing, other one is cost efficiency and other one is expandability. So when I say of uh, processing, uh, since it has been the task, uh, the processing of one particular task has been splitted among the nodes, the processing goes high. And other one is cost efficient. Uh, instead of buying one supercomputer which is highly costly, we go for a cluster computing where every node or every independent machine is going to be a normal machine. So, you know, working with cluster 
is far better than purchasing one supercomputer for high computational task. And uh, next one is expandability. Since the size of the cluster is not fixed, so for high computational task, it is okay to add nodes or add independent machine by ex thereby expanding the size of the cluster so that the high computational task can be processed easily. And a few challenges could be, one is uh, SSI, SSI stands for single system image. So when I talked about the definition, I said that the different independent machine has to work together as one single entity. So there should be a single system image for all the different nodes. So it should always, the cluster should always maintain the single system image. So though it may have some n number of nodes or n number of independent machine, to see it should look and it should act like a single system but maintaining that single system image is not that easy so that is one challenge with cluster computing and other one is security since we have got different machines located at different areas maintaining security is one important problem with cluster computing so these are the two areas that has to be concentrated to perf uh, to uh, maintain or to have one proper cluster for an efficient cluster computing Thank you.